Hey guys, it's Lely from Beastly TV and I'm joined with the community manager of Pez and I guess solid but we'll stick with Pez for now. <laughs> Hopefully you do get a moment of, I shouldn't have said that, but it'll be pretty tight lip I'm sure you will be. My lips are sealed, yeah. Okay, so Graham, my club, <laughs> just straight into it. <laughs> what Are there any future developments, plans for Pez 2015? Um, Anything that we will develop for Michael in the future, obviously, you'll get that exclusively live on all of the Konami UK channels, and we'll filter that out through the community. So uh, I'm staying tight looped on that one, but yeah, trust me. So, not, so nothing for Beastly TV before it hits anywhere else, no? Um, you can continue to play my club in PES 2015. Oh, you're killing me, you're <laughs> killing me here. So I was going to ask, I'm going to be cheeky, I'm going to ask a few questions which. Pretty much all my questions will be like this, but... What, you mean cheeky? Never. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, but when it comes to... Well, there's no official word on PES 2016, but we... We know it's, you know, it's going to happen. Um, are, this being the last year of the Champions League, are there any other licenses, including the Champions League, that they're looking to bring teams on? Like, you, with Manchester United, if you're wondering why I'm looking back, we're at Old Trafford. The one and only time I'll be here. It's my church, this. <laughs> but, yeah, I was going to say, are there any other teams which you lot know or leagues that you know about which are going to be coming to PES 2016, even though it's not been announced yet? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, the branded team, they're always uh, trying to, to try to find the right way to put this. They're always trying to find the best licenses that we can that will maximise the experience that you get when playing PES. Um, obviously, we've got the Champions League licence and you mentioned Manchester United, which is pretty much the reason why we're studying Old Trafford today. Um, so yeah, you can you can definitely count on the team ensuring that wherever possible we will get the best licences that we can in any PES game. So that's the nicest way anyone's saying to me that I'm not telling you yet. <laughs> um, you can you can enjoy the PES, uh, the, the UCL license and the Manchester United in PES 2015. That's, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> Every time I look at a PES game, all of the, I always see Manchester United. It kills me. It kills me. I, I want to see Liverpool. Come on, Graham, put a push well, for well, Liverpool. I mean, we've just aligned ourselves with the best that English football has to offer. So, you know, maybe if Merseyside Red. <laughs> what a sliding! I wasn't even expecting that today. Come on, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a United fan. What, what can we say? Uh, <laughs> And um, do you see the transfer market coming in PES 2016 or like for the My Club game mode? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not in PES 2015, the My Club game mode, um, but obviously the team are looking to uh, improve on that build. And I mean, the, the way that My Club has been taken in its first year, I mean, people are still got to remember, I mean, there's millions of hits on YouTube just for this one game mode alone, and it's still in its infancy. It's less than 12 months it's been around, so yeah, you can expect it to go a long, long way. That's fine. Thanks, Graham, and uh, thanks for joining us on Beastly TV. Thank you. Hopefully, this is the first of many interviews. Thanks for joining us, and catch you later. See you later.